Hey, what's going on, people? What's new? What's happening? How y'all doing? Out there in YouTube land. So, I got some time to kill. Thought I'd just do another quick little video. Not so quick. Hold on, I got something in my eye. I dig that bugger out. Did I get it? Do I have any boogers? All right, so look, we're gonna talk about hours of service. <laughs> See, at least somebody wants to hear about. Yeah, you want to hear about hours of service, don't you? I know. All right, we'll get over here so I can show you, or so they can see you. You want to come say hello? Come say what's up. Come here. Come on. Come say what's up. Come here. Come see me. Say what's up. Say hello. My battery. My battery's getting low. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are we going to do? We got to hurry then. That's what. Trying to get some more liquid in the tank. All right. So we're going to talk about hours of service today. Um, I'm sitting here at a truck stop because I picked up a load this morning and I was over gross. They did not do what they should have done and as a result I'm paying for it because now I have to sit here at the truck stop with the trailer dropped back off over there and have them um, properly adjust it, take some weight off it. I was uh, 80,000 pounds, 444. I'm sorry, let me say that so I didn't sound like a dummy. 80,444 pounds, okay? That's what my gross weight was. As we know, we here at May can only be 80,000. We are not heavy haulers and uh, we don't do that permit thing and whatever else. I don't know a whole lot about that, but 80,000 is max on the gross weight. So anyway, I had to take the trailer back, drop it off. They told me sometime today, sometime, sometime today they're gonna get to it um, that could mean between now and midnight and that would still be today for them um, so anyway I'm waiting waiting which is not cool I'm out of V8 fusion say it ain't so say it ain't so where's my water One second. I'm back. All right. So, um, anyway, that's a little bit about the life in trucking. Not everything is just going to be open roads and rolling, enjoying seeing the countryside as you pass it by. Every once in a while, every once in a while, you're going to have issues to contend with, to deal with, and um, that's just life. So that's that's what's going on now. I'm just playing the hurry up and wait game. So anyway, now that I got some extra time to kill, I'm gonna do a video trying to try to make it quick, pithy, to the point, and um, maybe a little bit easier to understand for some folks out there that are brand new to trucking, in school, or about to be at school 
this is the trusty Qualcomm. Okay, as you see, we got three clocks, or <laughs> three main clocks. As you see, there's four clocks on there. Okay, we've got a 70 hour clock, we got a 14 hour clock, we have an 11 hour clock, and we have an eight hour clock. Your 14, 11, and 8 hour clocks you will deal with on a daily basis. Well, you're 72, but not so much. What you really have to pay attention on a daily, daily basis is your 14, 11, and 8. Okay? 70 hour clock gives you 70 hours in a work week. Okay? 70 hours in a work week. Your 14 hour clock gives you, well let me try to break it down like this, hold on, let me roll these windows up, it's, it's almost too noisy, this truck stop is like busy for this time of day, it's only, well it's 1 o'clock but still, I've been here, I've been here almost 4 hours people, almost 4 hours, roundabouts, roundabouts there, so where was I? So let me try to let me try to break it down like this. Now, it's not there's a little detail to this part, but the simplest way to understand these two clocks is you've got 14 hours to drive 11. You have 14 hours to drive 11. Okay? So you can only drive, actual driving, you can only drive a maximum of 11 hours. And now we're assuming, don't pay attention to this right yet, we're assuming we got a full clock. Everything's full, okay? You can drive a maximum of 11 hours in a day, not continuous, but we'll get to that in a second. You can drive a maximum of 11 hours in a day. So you have 14 hours to drive those 11 hours. Now, what do I mean when I say that? Well, when you go on duty in the morning, when you go on duty in the morning, hold on, this is a tricky part because if I hit the stupid button, it's gonna cancel the recording and I'm gonna lose my mind because it's happened like four times. I hate you, cheap little mount. I hate you. Why do you do this to me? Come on, stay. All right, there we go. Okay. So, 14 hours to drive 11. When you go on duty in the morning, for the first time, when you go on duty, as soon as you go on duty, you have, or I'm sorry, let me, as soon as you go on duty, your 14 hour clock is gonna start ticking down as well as that eight hour clock, but we're focusing on the 14 right now. So as soon as you go on duty for your day, your 14 hour clock starts ticking down. It doesn't matter if you go back off duty, you, you know, for a little bit, you stop, take a break for a little bit, you know, 15 minutes here, 10 minutes there and you're off duty, it doesn't matter. That 14 hour clock is still ticking down. That's why you have 14 hours to drive 11. It gives you those extra three hours to allow for your, your pre-trip time, your 30 minute break that we'll get into in a second. Um, if you stop for a bathroom break, you need to take another stop to let the dog play, you need to stop for a drink, um, whatever, non-alcoholic of course, um, whatever the case is, as soon as you go on duty, your 14 hour clock starts ticking away, okay? So that's why I say you have 14 hours to drive those 11 hours. Um, now, I also said that you cannot drive straight 11 hours. You can drive a maximum of 8 hours 
and it won't even be eight hours, eight full hours, because you're gonna pre-trip, and as soon as you go on duty, your 14 hour and your eight hour clock start ticking down, okay? Are you, are you tracking? Are you following me? So, let's see, what kind of scenario can I give? I don't even want to give a scenario right yet. Um, you can drive a maximum of eight hours. At that eight hour point, if you were a super trucker and you drove that full time, when eight hours rolls around, you better be parked putting yourself off duty. Okay? Don't push it to the last minute. That's you're just asking for trouble. You're asking to get an hours of service violation, and that can come back to bite you in the ass later. So don't do it. Always give yourself a little leeway, a little cushion, okay? But we're just we're just gonna keep it simple. You can drive a maximum of eleven or I'm sorry, you can drive a maximum of eight hours. Well, what do you mean? Because you just said I have 11 hours to drive. You can drive a maximum of 11 hours. <laughs> God, you're confusing me, damn it. You can drive a maximum of eight hours. And then at the point, at that eight hours or, or before, you need to stop, go off duty for a full and consecutive 30 minutes. 30 full minutes of off duty will then reset that eight hour clock. And now you can drive your remaining three hours, okay? So you got 11 hours of drive time, and we're still assuming we got all full clocks. You got 11 hours of drive time in a day. You can drive eight hours of that continuous, and then you have to stop by law, take your 30 minute break full, and then you get the remaining three hours left to drive. You get it? Is that making sense? And it's okay if it doesn't. When I went to school and they started getting into this, I was cross-eyed. I was losing my mind. I was, they were speaking a foreign language. Um, it takes, it takes some uh, it takes a little bit for it to sink in and when you get out um, with your trainer it's it'll start sinking in real quick it's getting warm in here all right so we got a 70 hour we covered that you got a 70 hour clock 70 hour work week you have your 14 hour clock. So as soon as you go on duty, you have 14 hours to finish driving and then you have to be done for the day. So if you, let's say, okay, here's a, here's a, here's a highly unlikely scenario, but just to keep it simple, Let's say I went on duty and then I realized to start my day, I go on duty and then I realized that was really bad truck stop food. I got to run back inside and uh, take care of some business for a little bit. So I go back off duty. Well, it doesn't matter because you already went on duty. You started your 14 hour clock ticking. Now let's say I was in that bathroom taking care of that nasty truck stop food because it was probably in Sinclair or something um, let's say I was in there for four hours I haven't started driving yet I haven't even pre-tripped yet but let's say I was in that restroom for four hours and then I came out now I only have ten hours I can drive think about that Remember, you got 14 hours to get all your drive time in. You just used up four hours in the restroom. 
now there's 10 hours left on your 14 hour clock. You only have 10 hours left, which means you can only drive 10 hours. And you still have to take your break, which means I can drive a, a straight eight hours if I was super trucker. You can drive a straight eight hours, take your 30 minute break, and since that 14 hour clock is not going to stop ticking, even during your 30 minute break, it doesn't stop ticking. You don't get two more hours to drive. You can't, so, so four hours in the bathroom, 10 hours of drive time, right? Well, you gotta take that eight hour, you, know, you drive those eight hours, you gotta take a 30 minute break. That just came off your 14 hour as well. Now you have an hour and a half left to drive. When you get out doing this, you will realize the importance of managing your clocks. You will realize that very quickly. There's no stopping at the state park for a few hours and then I drive to another state and I see another cool state park and I stop there for another few hours. Your 14 hour clock is ticking so it's gonna eat up. Here's another way to look at it. 14 hour clock, 11 hour clock, okay? I went in the restroom, but so I already went on duty, realized I needed to run back in, go off duty, doesn't matter. It's still ticking away. Okay? Still ticking away. It's still ticking away. It's still ticking away. It's still ticking away. Now we're below. We're below. We're less than. Our 14 hour clock is less than our 11 hour clock. This 14 is what you have left to drive. I mean, I think that's in fairly understandable terms, a fairly easy to understand example. Um, that's what it is. Um, trying to think of any other easy, easier ways to put it. I can't come up with any. So let's take a look back at the Qualcomm here. Qualcomm. Since I am running on recaps, this was blank. My 70 hours was down to zero last night. I used up all my time. And then today I recapped about a little over 10 and a half hours. I didn't drive very far at all because it's still showing I have 10 hours and 10 minutes left to drive. Can I drive 10 hours and 10 minutes? Let me let, me let you look at that. How much time can I drive today? How much time can I drive today? Remember what I said, once that 14 hour clock gets below your drive time clock, this is what I have left to drive. Now why is this showing 8 hours? It's because I've been sitting here off duty, or sleeper, it doesn't matter, you're off duty or sleeper, either one. Um, I'm off duty for 30 minutes it reset the eight hour clock. No, I don't have eight hours to drive. No, I do not have 10 hours and 10 minutes to drive. I have what's remaining on my 14 hour clock today, which wasn't full. I, like I said, I only recapped about 10 and a half hours, a little bit over, 10 hours and 45 minutes or something like that. So I didn't get a full 14 hour clock today. So when I went on duty, that started clicking away. And now I've been on duty since the time I went on duty and pre-tripped and rolled out has been more than four hours ago. It's been about four hours and 15 minutes actually. 
So, as a result, and this also will tell you right here, I've got, this is your DOT clock. I've got six hours and 28 minutes. This is telling you what you can drive before you have to stop. That matches up to this. That matches up to this. This won't always be the same, you know. Your DOT clock is going to show up originally when you go on duty with full, with the full clock. Full clock, assume, right? You go on duty with the full clock, you have eight hours remaining drive time it's going to show. Even though you got more, remember, you have to stop and do a 30 minute break before you hit that, before your eight hour clock runs down to zero. So you can drive four hours, take a 30 minute break, and then it'll reset, and then you get four hours plus whatever's left on your 11 hour clock. Unless your 14 hour clock is less than your drive time clock. Okay, and in this case, since I've been sitting waiting, I've got six and a half hours left I can drive. Tomorrow, it's even worse. Tomorrow, I am only recapping. Let's put this in here. Don't hit a button. Don't do it to me. Don't you. No whammies, no whammies. Go. Okay, so tomorrow, I only recap an hour and a half. Less than that. Like an hour and 28 minutes. Um, the reason being, if you watched my other video, it was the issue in Boise, Idaho. And I'm not going to go into that right now. But that was the result that I'm paying for this week. If I ran today, my clock out. If I recapped an hour and a half and I ran that out. And remember getting noisy got a big train of trucks coming by remember remember you got pre-trip and you have post-trip time that's coming out of that so even though I get an hour and a half back tomorrow if I nailed a 15 minute pre-trip and a 15 minute post-trip that gives me 60 minutes to drive Wow dude really blaze through the parking lot at 40 miles an hour. You're a genius. There's some idiots out there. Don't be one of them. Um, all right, so, yeah, hour and a half tomorrow. Then the next day, I'll recap 12, 12 hours and some change. But then the day after that, six hours. And then after that, it's pretty much, it's it's like full full days that I can run. But because... Today's turning out to be a bust. Tomorrow's a wash. I'm going to do a 34-hour reset. A 34-hour reset is shutting down. There goes my final battery warning. A 34-hour reset is shutting down for 34 consecutive hours off-duty. And that will wipe everything clean. That will reset in its entirety, your clocks, all of them, the 70 hour also. So when I reset, when I shut down for 34 hours and then get back to it, I'll have a full clock that I can start with. And, and that's pretty much all I, all I can do at this point because today, you know, I'm going to try to get out of Denver, but it's not looking like that. I'll, I'm going to wait another few hours and then I'm going back to the Denver yard because it, there's just no point there's no point and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to get out of Denver traffic at the wrong time I'll be sitting there how's it going man another made truck um, there's a uh, there's just no point and it's turning out to be a bust but you know what bottom line is this is trucking folks this is this is trucking there's great days there's good days there's not so good days and there's crappy days and you get to deal with it and that's life in general you know that's life in general if if we don't know how to deal with what 
is thrown at us, then it's going to make, it can make life miserable. So we just stay positive. We deal with what we're, what's thrown at us. Um, look on the bright side. Here's the bright side. I'll be in Oregon sometime. <laughs> I'll, I'll have that load out to Oregon in the next week or so. Um, and here's another bright side. I got home time coming up. Uh, you know, I'm actually running all of April, but I'm taking, so I've got home time scheduled starting May 4th. So I'm gonna see the old lady, I'm gonna see my daughter. I tell you what, if you guys saw my daughter, I mean, she, she's a cutie. She's a redhead. She's a redhead like me. She's got the cute redhead. She's actually just starting to get the, the little freckles coming in. She's adorable. She's a cutie. So, um, anyway, I'm starting to ramble. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, post your questions, your comments down below. If you like what I got to say, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, you know, if you don't, let me know why. Let me know what you'd rather hear. What do? I, am I ugly? Am I too ugly? Do I smell? I mean, I showered. I'm fresh and and for for my truck, for nothing but my truck. But I'm fresh and clean. Um, I mean, do I have boogers? No boogers. <laughs> I don't think I have boogers. So anyway, if you don't like me, whatever. It is what it is, you know. If you do, let me hear it. If you got questions, comments, whatever, put it down below. Please subscribe. I'll be posting videos along my journey um, with all the fun things I encounter, uh, tidbits of information that I think would be helpful because I was in the shoes of people going to school, getting out of school, um, thinking about where do I go next um, you know what company what company do I start with you know all these questions all this stuff I I was in those shoes not long ago so anyway with that I'm gonna wrap it up um, thanks for watching if you've if you're still watching to this moment I appreciate you